This is Drive312. That's me, Greg. I'm the driver. And to my right, that's Billy Burns. I trust the co-pilot. We drive around the best city on Earth, Chicago. We do interviews and talk real estate. How does the job, like the news on how many new jobs are coming, how does that affect interest rates? So it, it used to be back in the day that it was really easy to follow. You would follow the 10 year, um, you know, like the bonds, and then you also have mortgage backed securities. Um, mortgage backed securities right now, people go to those and they invest in those when they're worried about the stock market. When jobs are being added, mm -hmm. the stock market's usually doing better. So people will rush the stock market and they're not buying as much of the mortgage backed securities. Okay. So that causes interest rates to go up. Okay. So it, it's good. You know, at some point, we're not going to have all these low rates. At some point, inflation is going to have to hit to get us back, you know, to the market that we uh, that we're used to being in before the bubble burst, so to speak. But in general, more jobs is more, good for everything. More jobs is good for everything. It means rates except are going up, rates. though. Except the interest rates. It's interest funny, rates are kind of doom and gloom. Okay. You know, the, the negative news typically the interest rates are going to be. A little well, that makes sense because I guess it's almost like when people are losing jobs, they need more incentive incentives to buy right so very good way to put it an interest rate yep. a lower interest rate that's uh -huh. the cliff notes version of it that's how i explain it that's the best way to explain it is it yeah okay the uneducated i don't know what the hell i'm talking about way sure <laughs> i'm just gonna nod my head and agree <laughs> so our guest we're about to pick up this is a very special individual special very special <laughs> near, near and dear to our hearts near and dear to our hearts uh, his name is matt nick rent and he is a first time home buyer. So this guy, fresh out of college, uh, contacted me. Literally. Yeah, yeah. literally. Fresh out, not he didn't even graduate yet. He already contacted me. He, had a, he got a great job in the city and he wanted to buy. Relocating from Bloomington. You know, everyone knows that you and I believe in home ownership. Yeah, Because that's course. what we do. We, we try to get our clients the best deals and get them in the property because we know uh, how good it is for people yeah. to own their own property. But it's uh, a lot of times it's better to hear it from someone else who has actually gone through it. Yo, what up? So we are in the West Loop. To, uh, where is going to be the best place to pick you up? Um, right in front of the building. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, he's scared. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! What's up, oh, Manny Nick Ray. What's, What's up, brother? Up? How's it going? How you doing? Good. good. How's it going, man? It's going good, dude. You are a first-time home buyer, correct? Right. Fresh out of college. Right. So you did something that most people don't do, which is uh, buy a house yeah. right out of college. Right. Why did you do that? I didn't want to pay rent. Um, when you are paying rent for an apartment, your money is pretty much going down the drain. What was what was the hardest thing about the process, yeah. in your opinion? Um, Be completely candid. The hardest thing about the process is just really not knowing anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you really got to do your due diligence and your research. Um, you got to find the right people to work with. Um, and I actually worked with you know you two guys, mm -hmm. and I can really tell that you guys you know know your stuff, and you gotta have somebody like that who you can trust, who really knows what's going on in the market, who can give you the right you know, answers to your questions. So, All right, dude. Yeah. All right, dude. All right. Thanks, man. Hey, man. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks Good, a lot, guys. Good catching up with you. So that does it for our show. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please comment uh, below the video and on our Facebook page. Let us know what you would like us to present on our next show. You know, what uh, band's new out there, new bars, boutiques, charities. Yeah, anything you think that uh, someone that lives in Chicago should know about. As always, go to uh, Drive312, our Facebook page, and please like us and also follow us on Twitter at Drive312. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.